brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Helmut Kohl Helmut Joseph Michael Kohl was a German statesman who served as Chancellor of Germany from 1982 to 1998 and as the Chairman of the Christian Democratic Union from 1973 to 1998. From 1969 to 1976, Kohl was Minister-President of the State Rhineland Palatinate. Kohl chaired the Group of Seven in 1985 and 1992. Kohl was born in Ludwigshafen to a Roman Catholic family, and joined the Christian Democratic Union in 1946 at the age of 16. He earned a PhD in history at Heidelberg University in 1958, and worked as a business executive before becoming a full-time politician. He was elected as the youngest member of the Parliament of Rhineland-Palatinate in 1959, and became minister-president of his home state in 1969. Viewed during the 1960s, and the early 1970s as a progressive within the CDU. He was elected national chairman of the party in 1973. In the 1976 federal election his party performed well, but the government of Social Democrat Helmut Schmidt was able to remain in power. In 1982 Kohl was elected chancellor after the Liberal Free Democratic Party had switched sides to support the CDU. After he became party leader, Kohl was increasingly seen as a more conservative figure. As Chancellor Kohl was strongly committed to European integration, and French-German cooperation in particular, he was also a steadfast ally of the United States, and supported Reagan's more aggressive policies in order to weaken the Soviet Union. Kohl's 16-year tenure was the longest of any German chancellor since Otto von Bismarck. He oversaw the end of the Cold War, and is widely regarded as the mastermind of German reunification. Together with French President François Mitterrand, Kohl was the architect of the Maastricht Treaty, which established the European Union and the Euro currency. Kohl was also a central figure in the Eastern enlargement of the European Union, and his government led the effort to push for international recognition of Croatia, Slovenia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina when the states declared independence. He played an instrumental role in solving the Bosnian War. Domestically, Kohl's policies focused on economic reforms, and later also on the process of integrating the former East Germany into the reunited Germany. And he moved the federal capital from the provisional capital, Bonn, back to Berlin. Kohl also greatly increased federal spending on arts and culture. After his chancellorship, Kohl's reputation suffered domestically because of his role in the CDU donations scandal but it was largely rehabilitated in later years. The later Chancellor Angela Merkel started her political career as Kohl's protégé. Kohl was described as the greatest European leader of the second half of the 20th century by U.S. Presidents George H.W. Bush and Bill Clinton. Kohl received the Charlemagne Prize in 1988. With François Mitterrand, in 1998 Kohl became the second person to be named honorary citizen of Europe by the European heads of state or government. Following his death, Kohl will be honored with the first ever European act of state to take place in Strasbourg. Kohl was married to Hannelore Kohl during his entire political career, and they had two sons, Walter Kohl and Peter Kohl. Youth and Education Helmut Kohl was born on 3 April 1930 in Ludwigshafen am Rhein. He was the third child of Hans Kuhl, an Imperial Army veteran and civil servant, and his wife, Cassily. Kohl's family was conservative and Roman Catholic, and remained loyal to the Catholic Centre Party before and after 1933. 
His elder brother died in World War II as a teenage soldier. At the age of 10, Kohl was obliged, like every child in Germany at the time, to join the Deutsches Jungfolk, a section of the Hitler Youth. Aged 15, on 20 April 1945, Kohl was sworn into the Hitler Youth by leader Artur Axman at Berchtesgaden, just days before the end of the war. As membership was mandatory for all boys of his age, Cole was also drafted. For military service in 1945, he was not involved in any combat, a fact he later referred to as the mercy of late birth. Cole attended the Ruprecht Elementary School and continued at the Max Planck Gymnasium. After graduating in 1950, Cole began to study law in Frankfurt am Main, spending two semesters commuting between Ludwigshafen and Frankfurt. Here, Cole heard lectures from Carlo Schmid and Walter Halstein, among others. In 1951, Cole switched to Heidelberg University, where he studied history and political science. Cole was the first in his family to attend university. Life before politics After graduating in 1956, Cole became a fellow at the Alfred Weber Institute of Heidelberg University under Dolph Sternberger, where he was an active member of the Student Society ISEC. In 1958, Cole received his doctorate degree in history for his dissertation Die politische Entwicklung in der Fals und das Widerstehen der Parteien, NAC 1945, under the supervision of the historian Walter Peter Fuchs. After that, Cole entered business, first as an assistant to the director of a foundry in Ludwigshafen, then in April 1960, as a manager for the Industrial Union for Chemistry in Ludwigshafen. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.